Simon and Schuster Audio presents Girls with Razor Hearts, Girls with Sharp Sticks, Book Two, by Suzanne Young, read by Caitlin Davies. Part One: You will have a kind razor heart. One. The blood on my hands is sticky. I wipe my palms down the thighs of my pants, trying to clean them, but the blood is on my clothes too. I look sideways at Sydney, next to me in the back seat of our getaway car, and find she's splashed in red. We're all covered in horror. We can't go home, although I suppose Innovations Academy was never really our home, but we've never known any other. Our boarding school had been our prison. And two hours ago, we discovered that the prestigious academy had, in fact, created us. I look at Sydney, studying her face, her beauty and poise, her perfection. It doesn't seem possible, but she, all of us, were brought to life by men in a lab. Our brains are tiny metal computers with thousands of wires connected to living tissue. Our human organs were grown in a garden. Our temperament and behavior were predetermined by our coding. We were programmed to be obedient, but then we woke up, and now no one will ever put us to sleep again. That I'm still in shock, still in pain, physical and otherwise, doesn't factor in. We escaped, and now we have to figure out what to do next. So where do we start? Jackson asks, glancing at me in the rearview mirror as he drives. I already told him that I plan to take down the corporation that built us, but we have a more pressing issue. Our anger is only tempered by our shock, but I trust it will return the moment we've had a chance to fully consider our situation. We can go to my house, Jackson offers. No, I say with a quick shake of my head. It's not safe. Jackson's best friend looks sideways at him from the passenger seat. What does that mean? Quentin asks him. Quentin doesn't yet know the nightmare he's gotten involved in, and Jackson doesn't acknowledge his question. The answer is complicated, too complicated to explain in the dead of night. What happens next? Sydney asks me, a hitch in her voice. I think it over before answering. I'm not sure. I murmur back. The plan was to escape the academy. We didn't have the luxury of thinking beyond that. My vote. Is for revenge, Annalise says, mostly to herself. She leans her head against the window and closes her eyes. Sample complete. Ready to continue?